Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are hanging out here on a Friday doing some live Lego. Uh, this is a mock set designed by Grandpa Crafter and sent in as a lovely gift to support the channel. And it is my main gate from West Hill. Look at the box here. Officially the box is now out of pieces. We have everything out in bags, but this is the West Hill main gate. And we are going to be working on the second level of the North Tower. Uh, we've got a pick list. So this goes here eventually. Uh, but first we have to put, I think, the second piece on top of it. Dan, hello, how's it going? Mind Trip Media, thank you ever so much for the 100 bits. Really appreciate it. The Real Pickle, good morning. Hello, hello. Uh, for when the stream really starts, well, it's really started. How did you and Johnny become friends? Uh, Johnny and I started podcasting together on the Citadel Cafe. So I was a fan of Johnny's work in Minecraft on YouTube, and I really liked his rapport, and I wanted to do a Minecraft podcast. So as a test... I invited Johnny to be a guest on the Citadel Cafe with me just to kind of see if we got along and we did great. Uh, he's also a natural podcaster. Um, obviously we're both pro now because it's our job. Uh, he's obviously doing more with YouTube. Um, but back when we first met, uh, we did two episodes of the Citadel Cafe and then I pitched him the idea of doing the sponge chunks and just, we've been friends ever since. He's a fantastic dude to work with. He's fun and professional but also keeps it light and easy going like it's all it's a very, i'm very lucky i really enjoy the partnership that we have on the sponge chunks and if you're watching this live on youtube later or i guess as a vod on youtube later the sponge chunks is my podcast all about minecraft and the citadel cafe is my podcast all about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment so i'm going to move this out of the way uh, I've redone the table for Lego. Uh, it is a slightly different camera setup, so I think we have a little bit of a closer view, which means slightly less room um, for display. But I think in the long run, it'll be good. And I also have sound panels up, not here, but I do have sound panels up elsewhere. So I need to get more sound panels. That's the first thing. Uh, but that's so far the improvements. You'll see them actually on the next video version of the Spawn Chunks on YouTube. All right, pick list. How many pieces? 31. I sense plates and tiles in our future. This keeps on sticking to the table for some reason. Twenty, two, four, six, eight, thirty. Well, it's close. Uh, speaking of Minecraft, uh, this is going to be a double stream day, so we're going to do one pick list uh, from the book and assemble it and put it together, and then we're going to switch to Minecraft and play on the Citadel. of these little guys. When's the last time I played on the single player world? On Monday when I took a screenshot for the sponge chunks. 
Uh, I think the last time I actually logged into my single player world was a tour. I think that tour is available on my Twitch page as a highlight. I toured my original Eternia world and uh, <clears throat> I might actually go back to that at some point. Uh, the last real gameplay I did, I say most recently, would have been probably any Skyblock series that I would have done, but I don't remember if I'd made VODs of those or whether those were just stream only. <clears throat> if if I did, there's a playlist on my Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twenty-five. Yeah, I've been playing Minecraft almost exclusively on the Citadel for seven years. Um, no, you know what? There was some All of Fabric Five, whenever that was. So if somebody on my Joel Duggan VODs YouTube channel wants to hit a search for the All of Fabric 5, that might be the last time I did a solo world. But like, it, they're short-lived because I find that my computer didn't perform very well with the mods. I just found that the mods got grindy and they took me away from the things that I wanted to accomplish on the Citadel. So I just thought, you know what? Let's just lightly mod the Citadel and we'll go from there. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. There's 20. Cool. Another empty bag. Oh, that's the wrong. That's the wrong piece. I need ten of those. Two, four, six, eight, ten. It's the three by threes. I need twenty of. I think I said three by three. I meant two by three. Those ones. This might be one of my favorite Minecraft tracks. I'm pretty sure the music is not in the VOD. So people watching later are just like, why is he talking about? We listened to the Minecraft soundtrack for this particular build. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Need it. I think I saw them in here. Might as well just dump these out. We need a few things from in here. Three two by one plates. Four one by four plates. And six one by six plates. They are not in this bag. All of Fabric 5 was two years ago. Can't really ex see exactly when. I probably, there should have been, I'm usually pretty good about recording the, um, the date in the description, but two years ago, is, that's rough, roughly the answer I think Real Pickle was looking for. Thank you, appreciate it, Sandy. Also, hi. Two, four, six, That is all of the white pieces. And no red brown, just regular brown. Huzzah. And it looks like we only need plates and tiles. Oh no. 66 of those. Uh, 
one of those. Tiles. January 19th, 2022, so two and a half years ago. Cool, thanks, Andy. That seems about right. Winter months, extra streams. Speaking of extra streams, I just posted a video in my Discord in the Satisfactory channel. You can go and watch a three-minute video on YouTube right now um, from Satisfactory. They gave us a glimpse at the quantum technology coming with 1.0. I need to start streaming Satisfactory again and getting ready. Oh, I just banged my mic, sorry. Um, and getting ready for the 1.0 release on September 10th. We will be streaming that day for a very long time. Uh, but I think I need to log in and kind of figure out what I might need to do for preparation. Just need one of those and it's two, four, six. Okay. Three two by sixes. Two one by sixes. One two by four. Two by sixes. Six two by eights. Two four six eight. Yeah. One, two by, I want to say eight, two, four, six, eight, ten, no, ten. Process of elimination, that has to be that one. September 10th is marked as a long modding day. <laughs> Do you mod other satisfactory streams? The Real Pickle, that's all right. It's a podcast. You can listen to the Sponge Chunks whenever you want. Or are you, um, forgive me, are you a member of the Discord? Do you listen live? I don't need any of those. However, I need a metric ton of these. Hope to get a few hours of playing the game on 10th as well. Nice, yeah. 
I'm going to be streaming Satisfactory leading up to September 10th, uh, probably starting, really? It's, it's probably like the next, the next rainy day where I've got extra time. I'm trying to take advantage of summer, although I was out last night on the balcony reading after I had dinner, and I actually had to come inside and get sweatpants and a hoodie. It was... Still saying it was 18 degrees, but there was a cool breeze, and man, like, the season is coming up to change. It's it's still warm. It's it's nice here today. Like it's, it's a nice summer day. Not too hot. I This is the kind of weather I really like. It's like 22 degrees. Two, three, and two. How far away is West Hill from Spawn? About 10,000 blocks north uh e west yeah it's um neg uh negative nine thousand negative nine thousand give or take a hundred blocks sixty six they say I keep on banging the mic today. That's 20. Thirty. Uh, no, I haven't purchased a new face cam yet. I'm in the process of trying to find one that's the right price for me. It's probably going to be a mirrorless camera. Uh, this is a Sony A6100. I've been looking for another one used on Facebook Marketplace, but they all seem to be above what I want to pay for them. Because they're older cameras. And really, it's, it's it, the camera part is fine. It's, it's the lens that I'll have to buy that is probably going to be a bit tricky. One, two, three, four, five. But I, I've noticed it. The last couple of weeks, I've been working on getting some lighting better. But really, I'm stuck right now with a 70, 720p camera. Um, which is not great. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Um, what I have done though, two, three, four, five, six, is um, I've changed from using a plugin on the Mac to control the brightness, contrast, etc., and I'm just using the filter plugin in OBS. So that should mean that my video will at least be consistent now. The only thing that'll change, I have a giant window in my studio just off to my left here, and it's like I don't know four foot by nearly five feet. It's, it's a big window. And um, when the light changes in the morning, th like this is the sunny side of the building here. Um, you can't see that the sun comes in this way in the morning and spun chunks. It's like starts at 10 a.m. and goes to noon. So like the light changes over the course of this of the recording. So there will be some changes that I can't change or can't avoid. Glacier National Park does sound really cool, Pickle. That's awesome. Sandy, when does fall start for you guys? For us, it's like October. Does it happen more September for you?
September, October, November is fall. Okay. Yeah, we'll have, we have fall temperatures right through sometimes until mid-December. Sometimes we have snow on Christmas, but very seldom the last 10 years. Very, very seldom. A lot of foggy Christmases the last little while. Uh, Diabetax, we are building the Lego mock set by Grandpa Crafter of the West Hill main gate, which is one of my Minecraft builds. Really, really cool. Uh, Sandy says here it's unusual to not have snowfall before December. Yeah. Frost on the grass in October. Wow, we used to have that. We used to have that. Uh, Diabetex, thanks very much. Yeah, I think it's cool too. It's, it's here just off camera. You'll see it in a second when we... Well, if you stick around, you'll see it when we assemble the, the, the phase today. All right, I can grab this quickly. This in the game is made out of spruce logs and bone block. And this is the design in Lego. So like, you know how you do like the, the timber framing and then you have bone blocks in between? Kind of what I've done there. I'm on the fence about getting one of the licensed Minecraft Lego sets. The crafting table one is kind of cool. I think it was, was it Jumbo Sale? Somebody in our Spawn Chunks Discord bought it and built it and shared a picture of it.
unknown. That sounds like a lot of work. Hopefully you'll get it all done. Oh, we don't have room. So close. Go this way. What's my Minecraft name tag? It's my name. How did I come up with it? I didn't. My parents did. Blast Jordan, welcome in. Thanks for the lurk. Good luck with helping the friend move. Hopefully there is some pizza and beer in your near future. I'm looking at potentially moving next year if I can find a place. And I am on the fence about whether I mean I'm excited about the prospect of a new space of of potentially owning a home, but man, the idea of moving all of my stuff, ooh, especially the studio. Taking the studio down is it's just going to be bananas. That's my job this winter is to really downsize, try to get rid of a lot of old stuff that I don't, that I don't need. You know, like I've got CDs and DVDs that I've not used in years because of streaming music and streaming video and subscriptions and, you know, like even like all the Star Wars stuff on Disney is in 4K. Like I, I don't, I mean, I'll keep some stuff, but there's a few things out there that are just not not on the list i thought there was three of those no just two so i'm going to try to leave some space here for building We ran into that problem last time. Cosmic Dancer, hello. Thanks very much for the well wishes. Hope you and the family are doing great.
Moving house or moving city? At the moment, uh, I am just moving to, or, or I shouldn't say I am. I am hoping to stay within the same city. Um, I'm partial to Dartmouth, which is a part. Uh, it's It used to be a city. Right now, um, it's the Halifax Regional Municipality, which is Halifax, Dartmouth, Bedford, Tantallon. There's a bunch of different places that are all now part of it. Um, but I would like to stay within Halifax. I don't own a car, so I want to stay within transit. Um, even if I did own a car, I think I would want to stay within transit just because I, I think that's important. Um, I don't work outside the house, so that's not a big deal. But because I don't own a car... Um, my main concerns actually are like proximity to uh, the gym or a gym, uh, proximity to grocery stores, amenities, that kind of thing. Just because it cuts down on time and expense if you don't have to. If I can walk places, fantastic. I'll walk anywhere. As long as it's not pouring rain, I'm game. Um, but no, I'd like to stay. I'd like to stay in the city. Certainly want to stay in the province. But, you know, like it just, it's, you have to make those choices based on um, income, affordability, housing prices. Housing in Canada is messed up right now, which is why I've not, I've given up this year. I was looking and I was trying to find a place, but I just, I'm going to have to wait until next year. But that's fine. It gives me a chance to save up more money, have a larger down payment. Uh, at the moment, I'm debt free, which is fantastic. And, so obviously getting a mortgage for a home is a big decision. But there may be a lot of other factors to consider in eight to 10 months time. Discord is for members. So if you're supporting the channel with a sub or if you're part of the Patreon, that's how you get access to the Discord. So you might find it's not your speed. So gotta remember I need spots for both the book and the build. <laughs> Hopefully the book will fit over here. Uh no, the Patreon is per month. It's a uh, subscription. It's patreon.com slash Joel Duggan, and it's, uh, it's a great way to support your favorite streamers. Certainly more affordable than Twitch in general. I can't speak for other creators, but for me, there's lower fees with Patreon as well. But I've got a really old Patreon account. I've been using Patreon since it was like a very early startup.
A slightly different layout than we normally get, but I'll take it. The Lego is very reflective. Yep. Not much I can do about that. All right, let's grab. <clears throat> seventy-two, I cannot see where the pieces differ. Uh, one, two, three, four. So that's an eight back there. Two, four, six. That's eight. Another eight back there. Like another one here. One like this. And then here. How big is the building surface? Uh, that is 30, almost three feet wide. And then, I don't know, on camera, I would say probably two feet. The table's much larger, but the camera only fits so much. Satisfying creak of Lego. Thirty one and thirty one. The 
just go almost all the way around. Three across the front there. Yeah, robots are pretty cool. There's a new animated anthology coming called uh, Next Level by the creators of Love, Death, and Robots. I really like those animated anthologies, so I'm curious to see what's going what's gonna to happen. There's a lot of really good animation coming out. There's a new Lord of the Rings animation produced by Peter Jackson that's about the Rohirrim, which looks really, really cool. And it's not live it's not um animation but the rings of power is coming out in like a week and a half week what's the day yeah it's a week less than a week Hey, there's Grandpa Crafter. How's it going? I do like the use of these plates, sorry, tiles, as uh, places where I've used the trapdoors in the build. Thirty-one and thirty-one assembled, and now these are. Two, three, four, five blocks tall. How many pieces is this again? It's 22, 2300? Uh, 2700 pieces, so says the box. Certainly the largest Lego set piece count that I've ever created. I shouldn't say created, built. Unknown, thanks for the follow.
Uh, yes, unknown. I spent 20 years working as an artist illustrator. Actually, for people that are in the Minecraft space, you might recognize the MC Championship logo. The MCC Championship logo? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I designed that. They had an existing logo, but I updated it, and they've now used it and updated themselves further. But the illustration of the zombie ride and the chicken, that's me. I've not done any video game developing myself. No, when I was working in illustration, I worked in animation and toy design. And then I just did my own independent comics and stories. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right, now these go, we've got corners. And then we've got face of two. But then a space of three on this side. And a space of one on that side. It's crazy how much faster um, your uh, your builds get vertical when you start using these full blocks. Twenty five, ten, and ten. Cool. So it's another five. Yeah, I don't do a lot of stream like interruption stuff, so the channel points just tend to pile up. Um, you can use them to unlock emotes, real pickle. So if you like any of the emotes that we've got on the channel, you can use the points to unlock the emotes. I need to look into fixing that. Three, four, and three.
Just think about how many channel points my moderators have. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. Okay, so then on this other side, we've got four stacks. Sweet Sandy says four hundred thousand five hundred and fifty eight seven hundred and forty six. That's wild. Dan says 551k. Amazing. I really appreciate that you folks are here so often. Consistently, every stream. Real Pickle, if you want to, you can always look into uh, Patreon. I guess I should leave that that way. Another stack, please. Uh, no, Sandy, I'm just going to finish this up and then we'll, we'll take a break, but we'll take a break uh, in between Minecraft and Lego. Or Lego and Minecraft, rather. So again, as, as the title of the stream suggests, we are uh, doing this step in the lego build and then we are going to be switching over to minecraft because i really want to try and finish up the um oh, a dirty piece on two sides let's do that um i want to really want to finish up the iron farm if i can this weekend so i'll put in a little bit extra time today all right now i have to guess at these looks like it's just a which back and forth. So we'll start with this at the bottom and then one of these. And then we just go back and forth. Looks like it should. Very cool. Ooh, this is different. So we'll start off with this, it looks like. Connected like that. And then we've got three of these on either side. And well, this isn't going to connect to anything. That will there. And then, oh, the CDs go this way. OK. And 
and that goes like that. Cool. And that goes over here. Is there supposed to be a gap? change that around that And then we've got two stacks of this. I drink my coffee black as well, Sandy. Most of the time, unless the drink is like meant to have milk in it, like um, a latte or something. So then we can actually attach this, it looks like. So before I put it on, I'll show you that that's what we've got here. The two levels, slightly offset with the timbers, which is very cool. The window. And this goes in the front. The window goes above that. Exciting. Whoop. Difficult to assemble. I think it would have been better to have the whole thing go up one block at a time. Yeah, I'm not doing this live on stream. There is just not a way to keep everything square. All right, well, it'll go there eventually. Oh, I might have got it. Got that side anyway. I think we got it. I think we got it. I can no longer pick this up <laughs> and show you what it looks like from the side. So you'll have to follow on Instagram to get a picture of how this is looking so far. It's at Joel Duggan on Instagram, very easy to find. Uh, and I take a picture before every stream and I try to take a picture after every stream just so you can all get the process. But the image is pretty true to what we're looking at right now, which is great. Very, very fun. Oh, it's all good, Grandpa Crafter. It's all good. It's just tricky in some ways. Uh, Super Dog Dingo, it came from Grandpa Crafter. All right, 
Uh, so we're going to switch over to Minecraft now. It's uh, just a little after two my time. I'm going to take a, a little break here. The stream will uh, stop and then start up again because I want to switch and have two different VODs, one for the Lego build and one for the Minecraft uh, VOD this afternoon. Uh, but don't go anywhere. Stick around. Uh, chat amongst yourselves. Uh, we will be back in about five to ten minutes, maybe. And uh, we'll be back up with some some Minecraft. Uh, we're going to be finishing up, or I shouldn't say finishing up. We're going to be working a little bit more on the iron farm. I want to work on the guts of the iron farm today. So that's going to be fun. Uh, we will, uh, of course, be posting this on youtube.com slash Vods. There's a playlist for every Lego set that I do. Uh, as well as all the Lego sets that I've done this year. So if you want to check that out, that's Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube. Very easy to find. And uh, we do this every Friday. And we'll, I'm looking forward to finishing up the rest of this. We're almost there, actually. Should be a, a good time. Thanks so much again to Grandpa Crafter for sending this in and taking the time to design it. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, you can follow me on social media at Joel Duggan and, of course, listen to the Spawn Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcasts. These are how I make my living. So if you want to help me out and... Uh, just listen to those or share them with friends. It does a great deal. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks so much for the support today, MindTrip Media and everyone else that followed uh, MindTrip Media with the bits. Uh, thanks for the modding, Sandy. Appreciate it as always. And we'll see you back here in five or 10 minutes for some Minecraft. <laughs>